guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. Duh! And <laughs> I'm in a really weird mood today, guys. Just bear with me. Today is going to be my September monthly favorites video. And I know I say this every single month. And if I don't, I mean to. How the heck are we almost at the end of the year? I feel like, honestly, I'm going to wake up one morning and it's just going to be Christmas. But... I just want to say, well, you know, I'm playing with my pony and stuff. My number one favorite of the month is this new platinum hair I've been rocking. I feel like I'm a mix of Holly Madison and Storm from X-Men, but that's fine. I don't know why it took me so long to get this platinum blonde, but I'm feeling it. Hey, Hugh Hefner. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I know last month I was like talking about shoes a lot and like I feel like over half of them were sneakers, if not all. I know it's the end of the summer, but I've been getting a lot of my fitness on recently, which I totally should have done at the beginning of the summer. I know I'm late to the game, but if you guys know Adidas NMDs, these shoes are life. I feel like everyone is obsessed with these right now and I was on Runyon Canyon the other day and someone stopped me and they were like, oh my God, where did you get those? I was like, eBay? And I have one of my favorite pairs here that has a little baby blue, I think is so cute. And then I have this really, really, really rare pair from, I believe they're only made in Japan from what I remember my girlfriend telling me. They have kind of like Chinese characters on it and they're really, really cute. I don't wear these out to run in Canyon because they are white and I don't want to ruin them because they are so rare. But these are my all time favorites with the baby blue and these are just the most comfortable working out shoes ever, but you just have to be really careful if you're gonna order these online because there are so many fakes out there and I can only imagine all of the horror stories of, you know, going through the trouble of finding your new favorite pair of running shoes and them turning out to be fake, which is not cute. So, those are the shoes. Okay, so I don't know why the Jungle Book, the movie, just came into my mind right now because I was gonna talk about that later, but girl, she's here, so might as well just talk about her now. I always do a favorite movie and a favorite book of the month, and this month, girl, The Jungle Book, mm. if you guys are into animated movies at all, I know last month I talked about Finding Dory, I'm literally a child, but the story in The Jungle Book is just so beautiful, and I just loved the animation, and this, I mean, the story again, I'll say it again, and I've, I've watched it several times now, and every single time, I'm just like locked into the movie because I just love it that much. Okay, is my lash falling off? That would be not cute. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> I told you I'm in like the weirdest mood. I don't know why, I'm just like giddy today. Y'all know I love a funny book. I've been listening to The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo by Amy Schumer, obviously a play off of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I legit just started, but you guys know I love funny celebrity books. I'm looking at the list of bestsellers. It's like all like Blood Song, Queen of Fire, Tower Lord, and then The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna choose this one. But yeah, if you guys are new to Audible, definitely check out my audible.com slash gg personalized link to get a 30-day free trial. And I talk about Audible all the time. There are literally over 180,000 books on the website. So log on and then download the app and then you can listen on your phone. Also, oh my God, this little satin dress I'm wearing is by my friend Jada. And she just started an online clothing shop named Jada Doll, I believe. She really is the sweetest, sweetest girl. And she sent me so many of her little cute items. So definitely wanted to shout out Jada Doll. And moving on to makeup, this is my new favorite foundation that I've been using all month long. Well, this is my tan color. I have a lighter color when I'm not spray tanned, but sometimes I even use the darker color when I'm not spray tanned to just fake it. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. She was so nice to send me a huge package of all her stuff. You barely need any foundation. I do like a half a pump for my whole face and then I obviously powder over top, but for a cream base, especially with this new platinum hair girl, so hard to avoid my hairline with like getting like makeup especially tan makeup in your hair that platinum struggle girl it's real but yeah let me know if you guys love this stuff as much as i do i've been obsessed as far as skincare goes i have two new favorites well one old and one new i'll start with the new one this is the Boschia 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 uh poor poor <laughs> Pore Purifying Black Strips. And these are for your nose. They're a little blackhead strips, but these ones are epic. I mean, they really do get everything out. And there's been videos going around Instagram. I don't know if it's like the Boschia mask or something, but it's people like peeling off this mask. And apparently it like really hurts. So people are like screaming. It's like, girl, why are you putting it all over your eyebrows and your hair and shit? Like, girl, just be careful. But I saw this one girl, she didn't even put it on her hair, and she was, like, screaming, pulling it off her skin. I was like, 
this is just too much. But yeah, they come in little sheets like these and they work really, really well. I love doing it on like just beauty nights in where I do, you know, masks and body scrubs and all that good stuff. Um, and this is definitely what I do for my nose. It's kind of gross talking about blackheads, but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. And it's for them guys out there too. And this has been my new favorite moisturizer. I have a favorite serum. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Kiehl's. Midnight Recovery, I believe, and the Daily Concentrate. I feel like I just nailed those names. How did I do that? But this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And I have noticed such a difference in like the suppleness of my skin when I wake up in the morning. And although I have to be honest, I'm not 100% crazy on the packaging. I just have to keep it real. The product inside is amazing and it really does work with my skin and my serum and especially overnight I'll like load it on my face girl and it feels really really nice when I wake up. I feel like maybe because of all the traveling I've been doing recently my skin has been really dry so this is exactly what I've been needing mixing it in with the Kiehl's that I talked about in last monthly favorites. This lip color has been so epic this month. This is the Givenchy super bougie. Oh I'm not here girl. If anyone asks, I'm not here. But it was a gift to me from my friend Wes. He gave me the shade 05 Rose, and I actually Snapchatted this not long ago. I love this stuff. It's what I'm wearing right now, and this is all I'm wearing right now. It's not a lipstick or gloss. It is literally just this beautiful beauty bomb lipstick creation that has the most dope packaging ever. It came with, like, this long ribbon. I was like, okay, I just need the little tiny ribbon, girl. I'm not trying to have this whole tangled situation in my clutch but he knew that I would love the 05 rose because it's just so Barbie and pink and just me I love it okay so I've been so obsessed with this sweater this is like my go-to travel sweater and do you die for the saying on the front life is Gucci girl you know how people say like it's Gucci for it's good personally I don't really ever say that but I just thought that this was so so funny and I've been wearing it all the time it's this kind of neoprene material it's not like a regular cotton so it makes it so comfy you do look like a little poofy marshmallow in it but I just think it's really cute and Gucci's new thing is kind of the GG which is like if that's a brand that's not calling to me I don't know what is and then the sleeves are this kind of like wool material with the classic Gucci kind of stripe pattern going on but there's no green which is weird but I just love this sweater so much it's definitely been a staple this month oh my god a lifesaver in a bottle the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Dry Shampoo. I was at Sephora, and you guys know usually I use Batiste or Batiste Dry Shampoo, but I was already at Sephora, so I just thought that I would ask an employee there, what's your best dry shampoo? I'll give another one a try because Sephora doesn't sell Batiste. So he like instantly starts gagging. He's like, oh my God, I have to show you the best one ever. I was like, this sounds promising. So he takes me over to the Elizabeth and James perfume section. And I'm like, wait, what is going on here? Because if you guys don't know, Elizabeth and James is Mary Kate and Ashley's brand. And he explained to me that this was a new product that they just launched and their fragrances are now in dry shampoos and I died. So this smells like a perfume, which is just like, girl, Mary Kate and Ashley, you did that girl because that's a product I would make and this is literally a staple in my life. Elizabeth and James, if you're watching, please feel free to send me an unlimited amount of these because this is the best dry shampoo for blondes out there ever and it smells so good. Like literally from that what I just sprayed, it literally smells like I sprayed perfume. It's so, so, so smart and so amazing and I definitely recommend this if you're a fellow blonde. And last but not least, recently I lost my digital camera, my vlogging camera, and I had a Holy Grail camera, which I believe was the Nikon S SS900 or something like that, which had this screen that flipped out to the side that you could turn and stuff and had Wi-Fi. So if you took a photo, you could send it to your phone and then Instagram it, which I was like, oh my God, this is my camera forever. Recently, I was actually out and I accidentally pressed the on button in my clutch so the lens like tried to open and it was like uh, 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 and it ended up breaking. So I needed to purchase a new camera. So I went to Best Buy and I tried to find the exact same camera because I was like, nope, I refuse. I won't get into another camera. And the guy there ended up telling me that they don't make that camera anymore. Can you believe this? And I was like, are you kidding me? How can you take that away from us? Like, I know so many other girls out there that love that camera just as much as I do. Like, how, how dare Nikon? So he ended up... Oh, oh. I'm gonna break this camera too. He ended up selling me on the Sony Cybershot Exmor R5 4K Cybershot digital camera. It's 
It's a lot smaller and the screen only goes up like this and it kind of comes out too like you could do all this funky stuff with it but you can't pull it to the side which was initially kind of a no for me but this has been fine and I recently filmed with this in San Francisco and I think at least the footage and the audio is a lot better you guys definitely need to let me know I honestly like this camera a lot better than the Nikon although it was hitting myself in the face although it was a lot more expensive than the Nikon one was I believe the Nikon was like 400 and this one was a thousand and you can imagine my face in Best Buy when this guy is trying to sell me an a thousand dollar camera when I know my favorite is four hundred dollars I was having none of him girl but I ended up really 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 loving this camera so thank you little man with black hair from Best Buy let me just I'm not gonna throw this Okay. Oh my god, I actually forgot one last beauty product. This has been my favorite, favorite, favorite black eyeliner and liquid liner in one. This is the Tarte Tartist instead of Artist Tartist. Clever. One side is kind of a gel eyeliner for inside the waterline, and I've been doing so many smoky eyes recently, I don't know if you guys can notice. And this side, if you give a little shake, is the liquid liner. And this is such a thin felt tip. I actually used it today and whenever I do wings, which I've been trying to do a lot more of because I feel like it looks better in the end even though I just don't like doing it and sometimes I feel like it looks a little bit harsh. I catch myself being like, whoa, my makeup looks really good today. What did I do? And I'm like, oh, it's the liner. Duh. But sometimes I'm just too lazy to do it. So yeah, that was all for my September monthly favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of the bomb stuff that you guys have been loving, whether it be makeup, clothing, shoes, hair accessories, like the little princess headband I'm wearing today. I was actually doing my makeup with this and halfway through this video I realized I didn't take this off, but I'm kind of into it. It's fine. But yeah, I can't wait to hear what you guys have been loving so I can pick it up for next month. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.